Hey everyone, Edward here at the Mac Observer and today we're showcasing a small summary of the main features of iOS 18. Overall, cool features, but not such a huge update. As you can see, we are running the iOS 18 developer beta version which was just released and the official ones are set to come up in September along with almost intelligence, oh sorry, Apple intelligence and Siri. Something must be wrong with the text, anyways. So here we are. As you can see, we are running the latest wallpaper which comes with iOS 18. At the first glance, there is not so much change, but remember, this is in beta. Let's first check out the wallpapers as they are such a big topic of discussion all the time. Here like usual we can add a new wallpaper and if we scroll down as you can see iOS 18 still being in beta it can have a few bugs here and there but on a small refresh the wallpapers came up and we got four versions of the same wallpaper but in different colors. I still fail to see why this is such a big thing but I also like to ride the wave. It comes in four colors pink, yellow, azure and purple, so let's just select the purple and add it as a wallpaper. Done! It looks pretty decent and if you check this closely, the blue wobbly design will make room for the new Siri looks, which I honestly like. Siri will be kind of camouflaged in a way, ready to impress all of us with its amazing AI. And that's me being sarcastic. Now let's move on to one of the main features and that's being able to move your apps wherever you want on the screen. This again is perplexing as it's 2024 and the best thing Apple can offer is the freedom to move your apps wherever you want on the screen. It's not like Android was doing this for years now, but Apple is like that child who needs special attention because... Well, really, I don't know. Anyways, of course, the apps are still on an invisible grid, so you can just overlay them like on Mac OS to create beautiful chaos, but nevertheless, it's here now. Next, we have Control Center, which now works with groups, and we got three main categories by default. Favorite elements, a music group, and connectivity. As soon as we scroll down we get to experience all these groups and what's even better, you can create as many groups as you want and customize your own thingy. I think this is really cool because it can help a lot with one's workflow, personality, usability and whatever. So make sure to use this control center feature because it might be one of the best features with iOS 18. Now another cool feature is the ability to give a more distinct personality to your iPhone screen by coloring your app icons. This can be done by tapping and holding your finger on an empty space on the screen, then selecting the customize option. Here we get the well-known dark and light themes, but now we have the ultra-awaited tinted option which lets you select a color that fits your liking and have a themed menu. Besides this, you also get a color picker tool that can let you adapt the colors based on the wallpaper you have. This is what's gonna make you more unique as a citizen, a cooler person, a better friend and human. But sarcasm aside, it's a decent feature, not sure if crucial for such a big update. Guess what, the next feature is the added calculator with history. I literally felt dumbfounded when I heard this. So now you can check the history of all the calculations you did in the past, which can be helpful if you forgot to pay a bill or share your pay at the restaurant date and whatnot. Other than that, I think it's just a calculator, man. Don't make such a big fuss about it. Oh well, Apple, thanks again. Mm, not so much. Coming back to the screen, it became easier to add widgets straight away by simply tapping on the screen and holding a bit till the edit button shows up and from here on you can add any widgets you like and position them freely on the screen. This is a better feature than others which I found useful like the control center thingy. Next, a quick addition is the lock app and hide app feature. On my part, I don't have Face ID activated, but I can show you where the hidden folder is hidden, so to speak. It's in the other menu, and here you can add all the weird apps your buddies should not see, most certainly a new type of relationship breaker, paranoia and suspicion from your partner. Not sure if this is a cool privacy feature or another way to indulge ourselves in lying to other people or omitting the truth. Yeah, thanks Apple, once again. 
Besides this, Apple also released with iOS 18 a new app called Passwords, where you will have access to all your passwords at once if you forget any of them. But beware, if you forget your iPhone password, you won't be able to see any of these other passwords. Cool little app where you can manage your passwords and keep them safe. Next in line, iOS 18 brought cool little features to messaging like adding emojis, something like Facebook Messenger has, and the ability to animate certain texts. This is relatively cool, but it's not a deal breaker, not a huge update, simply extensive communication enhancements that will spice up your conversations. Moving on, there's also an improved Maps app which includes the ability to create your own hikes and routes. This is also out of the beta for me at the moment, but nevertheless, cool to mention it. And another cool feature is Apple Pay Style, which will let you pay a bill or send money to someone simply by getting your phone in proximity to theirs and by magic, money will transfer to their phone. This is more of a cool little trick than a feature. I hope their security is tight on this one, because new devices to steal your money will soon appear as well and it might not be as fun. And lastly, we're talking about Apple intelligence, or almost intelligence as we call it at the Mac Observer, with Siri getting some improvements, being able to understand more context and offering more precise responses to your queries and as well fulfill basic tasks for you. And that's all in all, we found iOS 18 to be not such a huge update, it's more like smoke and mirrors, but hopefully Siri will bring about a new dimension with AI, as we weren't too impressed. What do you think? Curious to see your comments in the discussion below, hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.